this is the class diagram of the template method design pattern and this is the example so we are looking at a base class where we have register student defined as an algorithm what register student contains is calls to verify prerequisites process payment and send confirmation so we have an algorithm which is register student which has three steps in this example first you're going to verify if the student want to register wants to register for a course if they meet all the prerequisites the new process payment assuming verify prerequisites is successful that means the student meets the requirements and the third step is to send a confirmation email or letter to the student confirming that they are enrolled in that course so that's the idea we have an algorithm which is register student and the steps in the algorithm are verify prerequisite process payment and send confirmation there's no limit on the number of steps that are in the algorithm but the sequence is important because register student is calling those in the right sequence and that's why register student is a template method so this is important now these three steps can be overridden in a child class in different ways so let's say there's a university university a that implements their own course registration algorithm so they can override one or more of these methods or these steps similarly university b can override their own methods so for example university a may be looking at prerequisites in the university records whereas university b that accepts students within the university that who have taken the prerequisite and also guest students so they may be verifying prerequisites differently depending on whether the student graduated from a different university maybe they are looking at their transcript or letter from their, um, their from their professor or something like that so that's the idea here is you have an algorithm with multiple steps and you defer the implementation of one or more steps in those steps basically to a subclass and essentially the client program is going to instantiate university a or university b and they're going to call register student which will be available to the child class because it's available in the parent and then when they call register student that will call either these three or these three methods it's not required for a subclass to override all the steps in the algorithm they may choose to not override something or maybe one step in this algorithm is always uniform so that can even be implemented here in the parent class so that's the idea the main thing to remember here is sequence of steps implementation of that can be deferred or overridden in a subclass and then there is a main method that calls these three steps or n steps in the right sequence and that method is called template method so here is the example i have a visual studio solution called template method demo that has a class library called template method class library and i have implemented this abstract class course registration helper this is my template method called register student which calls the three methods that are in this class and the three methods are verify prerequisites process payment and send notification so these are the steps of an algorithm and they are defined as abstract in our case that all these steps do not have to be abstract but in this example we are going to override all these three methods in a subclass so let's implement the first subclass and this is going to be called university a course registration helper this is going to implement methods or override methods in the parent class so 
we're going to inherit from that and then implement all the three methods in process payment I'm just going to type console dot right line let's assume that the first university just takes cash so cash if I can spell that right payment then in the send notification they send a letter looks like an old school type of university and then verify prerequisite they're just going to validate transcript so this is the first implementation if I got a semicolon here how about University B hopefully they are a little bit more modern And this is also going to inherit from course registration helper. Same logic. Implement the abstract class. And I'm just going to copy and paste some code from University A course registration helper. And change a few things here. And here I'm going to say process credit card payment and this will be send email the third one will be validate or city university records or actually this university does not take external students let's assume so they are we just validate university records so that's the procedure um, keep in mind that not all these methods have to be implemented in the subclass they can be implemented here in the parent which is course registration helper so maybe process payment step of this algorithm is identical to both university a and b and maybe a future university in that case you would implement this class uh, sorry you would implement this method here it will not be abstract but you will have some method body here so let's add a client project here which i'm going to call as console application and this will be client console and let's add the reference to the other project and here let's assume that you are university B actually let's implement both so this will be city A course registration helper per A equals new University A course registration helper and let's use import statements so University A course registration helper and I make a mistake here with Yes, I should have declared these classes as public. So I'm going to make those public. Go back to here and just say helper a dot verify prerequisites. Let's have university B class. Here too. 
and helper b dot verify prerequisites and then here i'm just going to do a console dot read key so that console screen does not close also these two things could be declared as var the compiler will figure out what we are trying to do here so let's run this by making our client project start project and run this and we have validate transcript validate university records looks like i did not put messages in the right place so let's go back and check this the mistake here i believe is that i called a specific method in the algorithm so it's a step in the algorithm and that's not what we were trying to do what we wanted to call was register student which is the template method and now i'm hoping this is going to run fine and there it is validate transcript process cash payment send a letter that is the first university class or subclass the second one is validate university records process credit card payment and send email now there are a lot of things that could change here first of all I could make these methods instead of making them public I could make these protected so that way they would not be available to my console client which is a different project and that's something I have to do in the base class too first of all so all these three steps are protected and then university a looks good university b i don't want to expose these to the outside world outside the library so and now if i go back to program and if i try to use intellisense here we just get registered student so that was a mistake also, let's assume for a second that all these universities process payment the same way. So instead of declaring these as abstract, all we can do is we can just implement these methods. And then console dot right line processing payment the generic way whatever way they use both universities do this processing the same way so now i'm not going to override these methods here in the process payment i cannot because that is marked as so so if we go back here look at the error cannot override inherited member because it's not marked as virtual abstract or override so i need to mark this as virtual because somebody needs to override it a subclass has to do that and that will fix this problem but i do not want to do this in this case so i don't want that flexibility in the subclasses so all i'm going to do is just remove this method in this case to remove this method i could have declared process payment as virtual in the parent class and then one of these two registration helpers could override it and the other one would not and that would be perfectly fine in that case what we are saying is i'm okay with what is being implemented in the parent here so if this was declared virtual um, either you can use this implementation or you can override it so you get the flexibility but in our case we do not want to do that so we have the flexibility so if you see both the universities process payment the generic way so that's all for this code demo hope you like it